Go ahead, Bill. Could, could I go back to uh, something vaguely related to, to what you were saying a little bit while ago about you know, who we are bringing up in our own country who are going to be our leaders right. into the future? Um, if I can explain this briefly. Um, we're having a new governor in Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and I thought, uh, gee, I really want to be able to have some influence on that person, so um, I am working on the, cam on the campaign for the next governor of Massachusetts. And um, I'm asking them basically one thing. I made a little button. I'm rich. I can afford to pay my taxes. And I'm trying to push the idea that why are we giving away you know, corporate welfare, massive tax breaks to people like me and people a lot richer like me. I'm this rich. So, um, so anyway, basically, I'm just working on, I don't know who's going to become mayor, governor, so I'm working for Steve and for Martha and for Charlie Baker. So I get to talk to him. Anyway, I was talking about this idea that, you know, it doesn't change my lifestyle at all if I pay my full taxes. And so this last week, I was out in Seattle, Vashon Island, just by Seattle, in an um, artful activist camp. So it gathered uh, 60, oh, maybe 100 people from largely that area, but basically looking on I issues of activism. How do we you know, put out our message? How do we talk to people who aren't us? How do we um, deal with ourselves? We talk, talked a lot about race and ageism and, and sexual orientation or gender issues and stuff like this. But it's this beautiful camp where these people get together and work on, you know, uh, we're largely protesters. We spent a lot of time in the streets, and I even learned to climb the trees. It was really fun. I'm never going to do that. But so, um, wonderful time. Lots of people get together. These people are going to be working in the future. And um, because I talked about that rich thing, um, the guy who organized this one week at a youth hostel said, Bill, can you help us? The owner of the youth hostel is selling. We can buy it for a million bucks. Can you toss in a quarter of a million? And you know, I thought about what we were doing, being in the future. If we could have, if they could have that place to do activist trainings. You're familiar with the Highland Center in uh, Tennessee? Yeah. Okay. So he is. You know, he's been talking to them. And they're going. Oh yeah, this is what we want. The Highland Center on the West Coast uh, version. You know what? Whatever. And um, so I'm utterly convinced. You no. Know, I, I can actually do this. I can actually write any check for that much. It's not going to change my life. And I am just trying to figure out, A, you know, how can I be effective in getting some other people to contribute this? And then just the general question or general idea, do you have any thoughts? Well, one is, thank, uh, you. I, thank you for doing that. <laughs> um, but, but two is, I, mean, I, 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 I like to think that Good deeds are contagious, uh, and you know, and and, and that's you know, um, and um, you know, and there's some extremely wealthy people now who are now. I, I think I saw Sting is turning a big chunk of his money over to um, all kinds of good causes and leaving his kids comfortable, but not you know extravagantly comfortable. Um, I mean, I think the, the, I think people are kind of following. You know, Bill Gates and other people. You know, they're you know they're they're understanding that they can help make the world a better place by sharing some of their wealth. Um, so I think that's a I think that's a good thing. The other thing is um, again, you know, um, and, I, and I learned this. I, I, I'm coming to understand this way people some people think with with regard to these children on the board. It's as if we if we help them out, that means it's less for me. Yeah. Um, and the deal is, some of us have enough. I mean, some of us have too much, but even too much is not enough in the way we, we, we talk about things.